Welcome back. Let us now see how uh, to approach the question number six in the color shell exam simulation. Question six, um, task rate to percentage. So they have mentioned it can be solved in any cubicle context. Okay. There are four Kubernetes um, server, AP, server binaries located at this uh, location. You are provided with the following verified SHA-512 um, values for these. So for Cube API server, here is the SHA-512 hash, Cube controller manager, and it's SHA-512 hash, Cube proxy, SHA-512 hash, Kubelet, and it's corresponding SHA-512 hash. So delete those binaries that don't match uh, with the SHA-512 values above. So we know SHA-512 uh, command light or uh, checksum is used to get the digest or um, the value of any binary files. And it is basically used to check the integrity um, of, of these binaries when we download from online to make sure it is not really tampered with, right? Um, so this is to prove our knowledge. Uh, we are good um, with the SHA-512 SHA uh, checksum. So let's first go to this given directory. Let's change directory and let's see. And we do have these four files here. So the working of SHA-512 uh, sum commandlet is just uh, we can we can pass um, a file or binary file to this command like this and what it does is it generates a checksum and uh, it spits back the output as uh, the generated checksum sh sha file will checksum followed by the file name so this is what it does behind the scenes so although now we have the uh, checksum for the kubelet, it is a um, bit hard or challenging for us to compare uh, manually like this. So the best way to do this, you know, there are m multiple ways to solve this or approach this or validate this. Uh, but let us make, make use of the SHA-512 sum as well. For this one, so now we know how it is being generated. Let's uh, do the same thing again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say echo. Now we know this command produces the checksum value followed by the file name. So we are going to copy this information for QB API checksum, which is given in the question. Let me copy it again. And paste it, yes. Followed by the file name, which is the QB API server. I'll copy that and paste it here. So, uh, and then I'm going to pipe it to the SHA-512 sum. And we have a dash dash check um, parameter which checks um, whether this message for this file is the right message, you know, is the right, is right. If not, it's going to come back with uh, an error message. So if it looks good, it's going to come back with OK, which is is basically a non-zero exists uh, sorry which is um, a zero return code in this case which which looks good it's a cube api server sha 512 hash matches the the binary here and we are going to do the same thing for all the other files we have in this directory And now we are going to do this for the cube controller manager. This 
is the file name copy paste mm. so it seems doesn't seem like the right SHA file tool sum for this file let's now proceed with the next one in the list Now we are going to do this for the Q proxy. So this looks good. And let us do this exact same thing for the last file, which is the kubelet. Let us copy the checksum and then copy the file name. Run it. Computer checksum did not match. Seems two of these binaries, uh, cube controller manager and kubelet doesn't match. So the question says we have to go, we have to delete these files, right? Let's, let's do that. So controller manager doesn't look correct. And we'll also delete the kubelet. And let's check once again. We have only two files and they look good. Well, that's all for, that's all for this question and thanks for watching.